Hello, WD0AKX, Larry here, and today I thought we'd take a look at the LabVolt uh, electronics training and instructional modules. These are no longer made, but I was lucky enough to acquire these from a high school that I went to. Uh, I went to uh, high school for, uh, let's see, from uh, 1980, 81, 82, right in there and to graduate in 82 and I had electronics classes all the way through high school and these are the exact modules that I used in high school so I was lucky enough to acquire these after the, they built a new school and they got rid of some of their older uh, equipment and that so I was lucky enough to get this a few years ago and um, what these are, LabVolt is still in business I see I've checked on the internet they're not making these anymore, of course, but they're making similar things, training and industrial training type items. They do uh, more for industry and elect uh, electrical uh, training modules and that type of thing. I don't know if they're still doing any electronic training uh, or making those kind of modules yet or not, but uh, they could be. I'm not sure. I haven't looked into it that much. But these are were used quite... Uh, frequently in, in schools and that type of thing in the 1970s, 80s, and 90s, right in there. Like I say, early 80s is when I use these. And what they are, they're uh, separate modules, uh, experiment boards. And what you do is uh, follow the training manual that came with them, which I do not have the manuals, but uh, I'll, to make these work, I can figure these out. The diagrams are all printed right on the board uh, for training purposes. and there are holes for jumpers and you'd follow the training manuals and wire the jumpers in and learn how each part of the circuit works and that's the way what these were designed for and um, I have quite a few different modules I'll show you closer up here shortly but um, basically uh, that's what this is all about the lab volt training modules so let me give you a little closer look here alright let's see what some of the boards are in here uh, starting over here, this is an FM radio board that you can experiment with. And what that is, uh, if you wire it up correctly, you'll have an FM radio uh, receiver, a tuner, with an amplifier. Here's the volume control, and you can tune the stations. So you uh, use the jumpers according to the manual and wire yourself up a FM tuner. This is a lead storage board here, which is used to store all the jumper wires. Now, evidently they didn't like to use that because uh, they have all the jumper wires in a bag here over in the other one. And we have another FM radio board. Have an experiment board here that contains a crystal oscillator, an IC audio amplifier circuit, and an RF amplifier circuit. The crystal oscillator has a crystal for 3.58 megahertz common crystal yeah, this circuit could be wired up to do different things according to the manual. Have another board the same, another lead storage board, and another board the same, and another experiment board the same. Crystal oscillator, IC audio amp, and RF amplifier. Let's go over to the next unit and see what we have there. Okay, over here we have uh, an FM circuits board it's called. And this uh, has, uh, let's see, it's got an IF amplifier stage, a ratio detector, and a, let's see, a stereo generator, and also has a an FM oscillator. So uh, it looks like what this uh, could be set up for is a little FM radio transmitter with stereo capability and some other things there possibly. This is a component board. <clears throat> have all the components here. They're just stuck on the board with Velcro so each one of these is different, uh, different component that can be used um, wired in, capacitors, resistors, IF transformers, that type of thing. And we have a radio board here. Now this one, instead of being FM, this is uh, an AM radio board. 
So this would work like a transistor AM radio, basically a pocket transistor radio or whatever. It does have a tuner here and a volume control. And it shows you the different stages here. Let me try to read them and hold the microphone. RF tuning stage, the local oscillator converter, IF amplifier stage, the first IF, second IF amplifier stage, the detector and the AVC stage, audio preamplifier stage, these are all in sections here, up and down, and the audio driver stage, and finally the audio push pull output stage to drive a speaker. So that's an AM radio board and you have to wire the jumpers from hole to hole to connect each circuit and all that. That's what you do. And the jumpers move over here another radio board, AM radio, another lead uh, storage board, another AM radio, and uh, another, an FM transmitter board. All, I like the one I showed you earlier with the stereo generator. This one still has the uh, the shield around the oscillator, a tunable oscillator. And let's see, and here's a lead storage board with some leads stored on it, if you can see that. So looks like what we have is mainly AM and FM receivers here and FM transmitter to be able to transmit uh, to that receiver. So that's um, what I have here. And like I say, I don't have the manuals, but I'm going to dig into them, play around with them. I can figure the circuits out by the print on the, it's right on the board. So that's real handy be able to figure that out. It doesn't have a power supply. Uh, you need that externally. Yeah, no problem there. So that's the LabVolt training modules from uh, several years ago. Let's see if I can get a few close-ups here. This is a lead storage board where the jumpers are stored. FM circuits board, the FM transmitter, stereo generator, ratio detector, IF amplifier. The radio board, which is an AM radio receiver. See the separate stages local oscillator, IF, IF, detector, audio into the audio stages. The components board, all the separate components. <clears throat> the experiment board, with the crystal oscillator, IC audio amplifier circuit, and the RF amplifier circuit, the loop, tunable loop, and the FM radio board, the tuner, and the volume control. and the different stages. And you can see where the holes are for different jumper wires. They're designed to be able to wire the circuits in different ways for training. Now if you have any further information on these or remember using these yourself uh, in school or or wherever, uh, maybe leave a message below or something. I don't see these around very often so I don't think there's many out there but there's probably some sitting around here and there. So I just thought I'd show you these are kind of interesting and uh, I think it'll be kind of fun to, to play around with them for a while and see, see what I can make work. Everything looks like it's in real good shape so I think I'll be able to make everything work there when I get around to that. Another project to try. So thanks for watching and have fun on YouTube. 7-3's from WD0AKX.